35 new tweaks from the previous week. This one is WA Quick Reply. WA stands for WhatsApp, and Quick Reply stands for this. Just like the Messages app, you get Quick Reply with WhatsApp. Protect Eye Plus allows you to lock down your iPhone using an activator gesture. Triple press on the home button is what I used. So now, when I tap on an app, I can no longer launch it because Protect Eye Plus is protecting it. Also, I can't launch Notification Center or Control Center. Acapella 2 allows you to have gestures for music controls right on your lock screen so you can control your music without actually looking at your screen. Very handy for when you're distracted. As Folia 2 lets you lock down iOS with Touch ID in style, as you can see there. So I'm just gonna verify with my fingerprint. Photos app launches. Camera ability allows you to view the camera viewfinder from reachability view. Not only can you take photos just by tapping like that, but you can also take video by tapping and holding like this. People have sticky fingers around your way? Well, you may want to check out Anti-Theft Plus. It is a theft deterrent for your iPhone and it deters thieves by doing something like this. So say a thief takes your phone, they enter the wrong passcode, guess what happens? It takes a picture of them and it presents it on screen and says, hey, I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> Give me my phone back. Now, one thing I don't like about this tweak is that it asks for your email address, your phone number, and your email password, which I don't trust. I wouldn't do that. I would make up an email address just for Anti-Theft Plus if you're gonna use this. Next up is watch notifications. You get the Apple Watch style notifications right there on your lock screen. Looks really good, right? Let's send another, there we go. And it works just as you would expect. You can swipe on there to reply if th that particular app has reply ability or dismiss, just like that. Stundon is a tweak that brings you the Android style interruptions interface. So you can set up do not disturb with more customization features like that. Amplify allows you to customize the Spotify app. So you can show the status bar. You can even set up a sleep timer. I'm gonna show you that sleep timer. So you see the status bar there. Let me tap the little sleep button in the upper right hand corner. And now we have sleep timer access. Now let's talk about some of our free tweaks, shall we? Tweaks Refresher is the first one. It allows you to pull to refresh in Cydia to refresh the Cydia interface. Safari Swiper allows you to swipe on the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen to swipe between pages in the Safari browser. Just like that. Nella allows you to customize the installation interface for Cydia. Also allows you to customize the button at the bottom of the screen once it's done here. So there you go. Next up is Twitter Plus Plus. Twitter Plus Plus brings tons of new options to the Twitter app here. Let me show you what I mean. So if I tap that button there, I tap Twitter Plus Plus settings, look at what all you have. Tons of different options and switches there. And my favorite thing about this is the fact that it has a list button shortcut right here on your timeline. Extremely handy. Favorite tweaks allows you to designate favorite tweaks in Cydia. So I'm going to search for a tweak here, also Legacy Edition. I can add that in there. Then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add another one. So hit the plus sign. Let's see, let's find another version of Oxo here. All right, so I have two favorite tweaks. I can rearrange those. I can even install or delete right from this interface. Swipe for more allows you to swipe and install, you can even swipe in queue so you can really quickly get multiple things installed or uninstalled right there from the Cydia interface. This is probably the most handy Cydia tweak that I've seen in quite some time. Highly recommend it. Swipe for more. Music Mod allows you to customize the music app interface for the new iOS 8.4 Apple Music app. Uh, so there's lots of things you can change here. You can hide the radio, you can hide connect, you can hide the U tab or the new tab. You can hide blur. You can do all sorts of stuff. And the nice thing is it gives you explanations and shows you what the buttons actually do. So you, you're not just blindly going into it. Let me show you what it looks like here. So notice at the bottom, there's only two tabs now because we hit everything. And then in the uh, now playing interface, let's tap on that. It removes that little button in the upper left hand corner, removes blur, etc. 
Now dismiss progress is really handy. Instead of having to tap the restart springboard button or exiting out of Cydia altogether, why not just go back to the Cydia interface by tapping this close button? This is new, tap the close button, you go back to Cydia, continue installing your tweaks or browsing Cydia. Very nice. Now, if you have an older device, like an iPhone 5 or iPhone 5S, you don't get landscape mode in Cydia, but Landia can do it for you. It gives you landscape mode on older devices for Cydia. No upside down. You know when you turn your iPhone upside down in Cydia and other apps, it shows the interface upside down? Well, this gets rid of that. No more upside down. Regram allows you to basically sort of retweet Instagram photos from your followers. Nice. Swipe away allows you to swipe away the keyboard while searching in Cydia. Transparent SB allows you to see through your control center, your notification center, and even the keyboard on iOS. Camshot allows you to take photos using terminal commands. So I'm just gonna type in Camshot here. You see the syntax. So you type Camshot space, then dash, then back, then space, then give it a name. So this takes it with the rear facing camera, test shot.jpg, then hit return, took the photo. Now all we need to do is go into iFile and we'll find our photo. And there it is, test shot.jpg. You see where I had a little fumble there earlier. Image viewer, there we go folks, it's cam shot. Hide NC lines, unless you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you're probably not gonna notice, but normally there's lines at the top and the bottom of Notification Center. Well, guess what? This gets rid of them. No more separators gets rid of the little lines between the tables on your iPhone. So you see there's no lines separating all the tables there. Pretty nice. Go Tappa is a tweak that gives you little tap indicators when you tap on the screen, just like that. Unlock time tells you the last time you unlocked your phone right there on your lock screen. Pretty convenient. Mosai is very similar to Music Mod, except it's not as verbose. Um, there are just a few little switches here for things like hiding the arrow, hiding the radio tab, hiding the status bar, etc. We've seen this before, but nonetheless, it is nice to know that you have this uh, tweak available to you. Minecraft PE Mods allows you to do things in Minecraft PE, Pocket Edition. So you can have instant kill, you can have mining acceleration, so I turned that all the way up. So you're gonna see in a second how quickly I can mine with Minecraft. There's tons of other switches in here you can turn on to do crazy stuff in Minecraft. But notice how quickly I'm mining there, courtesy of Minecraft PE mods. That's nuts. <laughs> you guys are gonna love that. Yeah, baby, get my mind on. All right, all right, enough, enough. Flyer replaces the send button in the messages app with your own custom button. There's one included, you can add additional custom images if you want to. There's a little airplane icon, just tap that to send. Now onto the beta tweaks. Indulge is the first beta tweak we're talking about. It allows you to see the top free and top paid tweaks on Cydia. Tweak Hub for Cydia is a really cool jailbreak tweak. It gives you a list of all of the jailbreak tweaks that correspond with all the apps you have installed on your phone, including stock applications like the Clock app. So if I tap the Clock app, I get to see a list of all of these jailbreak tweaks that correspond or that work with the Clock app, and it hooks right into the main Cydia page. Now, Picture Passcode isn't out yet, but this tweak will, once it's out, allow you to take a picture. So I'm gonna show you. Take a picture right here and then basically create a passcode out of that picture. So use that photo, and then I just tap in the, in the areas on the picture that I wanna use as my passcode. So I tap the laptop, I tap the light switch, and then I'll tap the light, and that's what I'll need to do to unlock my phone. So I'm gonna tap done. All righty, so let's try this out, shall we? All right, so I tap the laptop, tap the switch, and then tap the light, and we're unlocked. Custom Cover allows you to add music and lock screen album art customization to iOS. Last but not least, Reveal NC allows you to have an Android style notification center pull down animation just like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.